Yes, this is my autom ball machine automation complication. Unfortunately, the arm lift is a very picky thing and I can't get it to work perfectly. So, that's why it may drop balls like that one. See if okay. Since it's not picking up any balls right now, anyway, I'll just show you each path. Individually. The first path is the ball machine track tubing. This simply yeah. goes around and pop right back to the beginning. Another one is the triple loop the loops, which I have challenges getting working. So let's throw it. Oh, see, it just failed. It went onto there. But anyway, from there, it's supposed to go into the fish scale. And normally it gets stuck there, which is okay, because another ball will come and push it down the fish scales to the bottom. Another path is the fans. That leads it down through here. It just slides, goes through the chute slide, goes through the maze, slides down this ramp. and into the arm lift. Normally it stops there. Another path is these stairs in which it goes into that green tube and goes spiraling around the vortex. Up there. And once it's done with that it goes out the ramp and back to the chain lift. Another path is on this green track. Two toggles lead it to here. This one up here drops it down there and then the one behind it drops it right on. And then that leads it to another path. And that leads it down to there. And then it just jumps across and into the funnel. And now you can't see that well recorded again. Okay, here's the jump again. It rolls down the ramp, goes, and jumps into there. Which then rolls on the green track. Uh, it's not supposed to roll that way. But I think you get the picture. This ball machine is a very picky ball machine. It's not my best. It's my most complicated, but it's not my best. And it definitely doesn't work perfectly. So, I'm going to take it down and probably do some nice things. The other path is this, this spiral ramp, which drops it into a tube, apparently, which drops it down to here, where there's a spiral lift, and I'll show you those paths later. Alright, then the second path on this takes it over here. Whoops. Hang on. Okay, so that second path would this work. Never mind, the spiral lift isn't working anymore, some weird thing happened. So, after that, go this way, and go that way. Also go this way. And really, there's two pads here, so it can either go down this, and then down this, or it can go down this spiral, and then down this, or done this. Okay, the first path from the arm lift goes like this. Through trampoline, down like that. Then it just goes all the way. Oops. It's not supposed to get stuck there, it's supposed to keep going all the way back to the chain lift, way over there. Anyway, the other one is pretty much the same. Let's see. This one. It goes down this wheel, jumps, and then goes to the arm lift, over there. This one goes like this, and back to the left. And that's basically all the pads on my ball machine. Unfortunately, if I turn it all on, the balls fall out like hail, and it doesn't work very well. So I'm going to take it on. Okay, so here's the jump again. It just goes across this. Uh, normally it makes that hang on. This is the only part of the machine I can actually turn on that'll work without any challenges. See? 
And this design is taken from Kinect's very first bomb machine they ever designed. Whoops. Uh, that toggle leads it back to the chain. That was weird. Anyway. Mm. 